Hey guys, so right now I'm going to be showing you how you can initiate a call using an API without the need for Go High Level with Zapier. You can do this straight from your computer. So it's going to help you guys a lot when you're trying to test with metadata because a lot of times, you know, you, you want to do a role play, but role play doesn't have metadata because that's the easiest way to do it. And the second easiest way is this because instead of having to go into Go High Level, add a tag to yourself, do this, do that, go into Zapier, trying to figure that out, you can just do it straight from your computer and it's super simple, super easy. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Okay, so the first step is we're going to go over to Spotlight. So air dot or airai.spotlight.io. I'll put a link down in the description so you guys can go there very easily. You're going to press air, call, initiate a call post, and then you're going to, let me delete that. Just Okay, so now you're going to see this. You're going to go over to air web, client API keys. So you're going to press integrations, right? Integrations, client API, create a new API. For this one, I'm just going to use demo. That's where you paste the tokens. That's an authentication token. It's basically just confirming that that is the right place to, to post because uh, it it doesn't want to post in the wrong place because that can get in, into a lot of trouble. That's how API works. That's how API key works. Uh, I don't need to explain that right now, but that's basically what that's for. So now the prompt ID, you're going to go back to create. Uh, having a little bit of trouble here. Uh, and then you're going to go to one of your agents. Okay, and now you're going to copy these five digits up here. When we get to 100,000 agents, it'll be six digits. Right now, it'll be five, maybe four or three, depending on, you know, when you got in here, uh, but probably five. And you're going to put your phone number, and then your name, and then metadata. So here's how metadata works. If you don't know how metadata works, I'm going to link uh, a video right up there is how variables work. Metadata basically is variables. You can have unlimited custom variables, as many as you want to, hundreds and hundreds, if that's what you really want to. I don't think there is a limit. No one's found a limit yet. And basically what that allows you to do is I can make an indent here. You have to put it between the brackets. And you can say, and then you want to start it right under the D in data. And then you want to say, let's say we're going to do address. So address, so it'll be like this. And then... I will put one five six three two uh, Main Street, right? Perfect. So now you have address. So it's this address, this two dots, and then quotations, whatever the actual name is. So this is just an example here, and then more quotations. So what's going to happen now is if I'm back in my air agent, and let's say down here I'm I'm say, so my name is Jessica. Uh, I live at metadata.address. So that's how you use the, the metadata. So this address matches up perfectly with this address, right? So now when I make a call, since it has the same ID with this ID, when I make a call with this API, it's going to basically take this script and it's going to insert all of this data into it. So it'll insert the number by calling that number. It'll insert the name by inserting it into the prospect name. And it will insert address now. It's here. So it'll say, so my name is Jessica. I live at 15627 Main Street, right? So it's going to insert that. So that's how you can test metadata. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and save this? All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the second one. And th so there's two ways to do this. If you're on Mac, you want to go to shell and then see URL, and it's going to change how the code looks. If you are on Windows, or PC, you want to go to PowerShell and then either web request or REST method. I think REST method works the best. I don't even know if you can do web request. I've been doing REST method, so just go with that for now. If it doesn't work, do the web request. Uh, and then you're going to copy this. You're going to come down here and you're going to open something called PowerShell. So you can just search it up right over here. So PowerShell, uh, yep, and then run as administrator. Say so yes to all this. Once again, if you're on, if you're on MacBook, you're going to open up open terminal. So you're going to come over here. You're going to type in open terminal and that's what you're going to open as, uh, and run as an administrator. But on PC, this is how you're going to do it. And then all you simply do is just copy paste that code and press enter. That's it. And if you look at my phone, I'll get a call any minute now. There we go. Super quick. Cause it's API. Hello. Yeah. So the AI is like completely broken right now because of all the updates. So it does, it's super slow. It doesn't even really answer, but as you can see, it gave me the call and the metadata should have been inserted right into the script. And it's, it's really as simple as that. That's how you do it. And if you want to add more metadata, you can always come down here, just make another line break, add whatever you want. It's really that simple.
Thank you guys for watching. And if you are new to Air, your business is trying to use Air in your own business, I have a link in the description. It's novaecho.tech, and you can book a call with me. I can give you some tips. I can show you some demos if you've never used Air before and you're trying to get into it, and I can just help you out with getting started. Now, if you're an Air agency and you're great at sales, you're great at marketing, you're great at helping people, but you're not the best at the actual service delivery side and you don't know how to use the Air platform as good as you could, because I'm very confident in using the Air platform, very confident in building out agents. So I have another site down in the description. It's novaecho.solutions. And there you'll be able to book a call with me and we can see if you want to create a deal, a partnership, where I handle the service delivery for you. That way you can be confident that your clients are getting the best service delivery possible. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.